Yeah. Talk to him about uh, what you told me this morning. We was talking about your family just being at the game mm. and how important mm. it was to you. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Just to uh, Queens. have that moment. You know, everybody asked me, you know, how it feel. I, I mean, it, it, it's wholesome. It's wholesome, bro. Uh, this game of football, man, you got to sacrifice so much. And just been a... Just being a younger guy and just like my story of being, you know, undrafted mm. and everything that it, it, it came with, um, as an undrafted guy, you got a different type of mindset. You mm-hmm. got a different type of like chip on your shoulder. You got a different type of urgency, I feel like. And just me being the person that I am, um, I try to limit any distractions the first couple of years. Like my family not coming to the game, bro, mm-hmm. because I got to I got to um conquer this moment bro like this moment mm-hmm. is for me right now mm-hmm. and my and my first like i'm not i'm not the guy that i want to be yet so like just let me work yeah. that's that's what type of thing oh, that man. i was on mm-hmm. like talk about you know, it. being a special team in my first year it's like i had already known that i can play defense whenever i was in you know uh new england mm-hmm. but i was labeled as a special teamer mm-hmm. and like humbly so i just wanted to embrace that and just be I just want to wait my turn to be that defensive player that I wanted to be. So, no question. Um, I'm, I'm telling the fam, like, yo, I'm good. Like, I don't need the support. You know what I mean? And then working up until, you know, 2018, okay, I popped out crazy second year. Okay. Indeed. Third year. Yes, um, indeed. Indeed. Third year, I had, uh, you know, all, all my sisters came to the game. Um, I think it was like first home game versus Atlanta Falcons. And yes, sir. And that was a pretty good joint there. And then so – from there, it was like, oh, okay, yeah, the fam, they come like, they come to Indy a couple times a year. Um, they always go to the Jacksonville game, which isn't really the greatest time for us, you know what I mean? But like, <laughs> um, talk about it. But, but, back, but back to like, I was telling EJ this morning, I said, bro, honestly, bro, COVID, like, yeah. COVID pretty much changed my whole perspective on like taking advantage of the moment. And so mm. after that, because mm-hmm. you know, your fam couldn't really go to the games like that. Like, my mom wasn't pulling up or nothing. Like, yeah. I was like, oh man. That's when I really figured out like the support that I wanted, the, my people come to the games. Uh, you know, I feel like I'm on it. So I, I can, I can basically uh, like give that room to mm-hmm. the, to the fam to like really be there. Yeah. And so at the COVID, like I, I remember telling my mom during COVID, I like, mom, when when all this stuff restrictions clear up, man, I need you at every single game. Yeah. So we had hard knocks twenty twenty one. My mom was at pretty much every single game, home or away. Like I need you there, and like it was more so like I'm begging my mom, like nah, I need you there. And so like from there, you know, she wasn't really there last year. My two of my sisters had um, kids or whatever, and then this year, like I even extended the the support the the invitations to my siblings and I'm just like, yo, I need y'all at the games, bro. Like the, these times, these times don't come so often. And like, we're not guaranteed to anything. We're not entitled to anything in this league. So, mm-hmm. you know, just being a seventh year guy now, you know, I'm 28, like mm-hmm. I got to take advantage of the moment. Yeah. I got to take advantage of the moment. So like, we got to have these times together. And like, look, you see last night, like I had three sisters at the game, you know, a family friend, which yes, is, sir. you know, one of my sister's best friends. She went to high, high school and played ball with, like, nieces there. So, like, we, like, that's the moment for all of us. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Not to take up too much time talking about it, but, like, no, you know, you know get it off. First of all, yeah. shout out to the fan. We was in yeah. Valdosta. I mean, yes, sir. Plus, shout out to Big Nick. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to the city Shout out to sure, the barbecue. Man. Shout out to yeah, Ken, Kenny Moore Day down there. Bro, like, hold on. on. Let me not forget Walter Payton, man of the year. I was going to oh, man, don't get me going again. Don't get me going again. Nah, that's my, that's my man, city, but I'm not, I'm not going to lie, no, man. man. And uh, just, you know, me and Speed obviously have an opportunity to go to your hometown, you know, be amongst your that's family, your community, it. you know, seeing what that is. Um, you know, obviously, you know, me and Speed relationship both with you throughout the years. We've been playing together for five years now. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, it's just we always we got that close relationship with your family as well. But we know that your family means a lot to you, man. Yes, and yeah. uh, I feel glad. like you it, you could tell um, the way Kenny's community we pull up, man. It's just you know the way Valdos is set up and just everything that you embody and everything that you uh, you know portray out to the world, man. It's just such a Positive reflection of who they are and what those guys, uh, those kids could aspire to be. Um, it was yeah. just great to see. I mean, my, like Kenny Moore Day, you got your own day out there already. On, you already dude. going crazy. Yeah. Already all of it. Like, and it's just like, man, like I said, I always give uh, Kenny his flowers. Like every day, I always I tell him, bro, because mm. 
even and like me and Speed to talk about it, like I can't like I said before, Kenny was a inspiration for me. When you a young boy, you seeing somebody out there putting that work in, doing their thing, achieving their goals the way they want to, that shit make you put it in too. So Nah, nah, nah. He he nah, I remember like from day one. Uh, I used to be on Kenny Hills. Kenny, what you doing? Nah, nah Kenny, wait, wait. I'm like, bro, I'm in my second year. You're you Ricky. Like, no, 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 I, I don't no. know much of you. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you ask you me what I'm, I'm, I'm still trying to gain my schedule, too. Third, I'm, third I'm eating better. All right, so anyway, I'm just coming here. I, I know I ain't playing. I'm just, <laughs> right, just sitting right here. He's yeah. not even playing. He like, oh, y'all y'all have him extra meeting? Yeah. All right, I'm going to do it, too. And I'm like, are you sure you want to do this? Yeah, everybody don't want to do this. Kenny, man, one thing, obviously, you know, we've had conversations in passing and then like I was talking about certain things with family and all those things and playing but one thing that I've always noticed about you man that I, I mean myself personally not an athlete but just fond of is that always anything that you do from the game to your family is that the integrity as a man that you go through that you go through process processes like so how like how did you even like get to that like how who, who taught you how to do that type of stuff like what, uh, what brought you to that um <clears throat> Man, I think I think uh, even before the league, I think we all envision ourselves being somebody, and uh, mm -hmm. I try to hold that dear to me, no matter what. Like I think the biggest takeaway of being a professional is staying sane, is staying like the the level headed, is staying, yeah. uh, you know, who you want to be in life. And so yeah. I think for you to play good games, for you to bounce back from bad games, like it's staying sane, it's staying level headed, it's staying, mm -hmm. you know, wholesome, it's staying wholeheartedly in the game. Like, like you can't cry about it once you sign up. Like that's that's what yeah. that's how I, I try to uh, I try to like live it. And so, uh, bro, my family is everything to me, bro. My city is everything to me. Like that's that's locked in. Like that's like no key. It's, it's thrown away. Like yeah. that's that's like my family is everything to me because everything that we've endured, like we've all endured together. And so it's so many of us, bro. It was a 10 person house growing up, bro. It's, we was like, we all we got. Mm, yeah. We all we got. 